Uh, g'day, Stephen. Welcome back. I uh, understand we're looking at some state machines today. Yeah, that's right, Tom. It's a, it's a to me, a very powerful uh, diagram, very powerful model that uh, isn't used all that much, but it can be used in both technical and uh, and business um, business definitions as well. Oh, well take, take me through it. I'd like to have a look. Yeah. Okay. So the, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we can, as always, set our uh, perspective. So we're going to go into the UML perspective. It's a UML diagram. It's a type of behavioral diagram. So we'll set that perspective. And we can go into our toolbox now and... Um, oh, and we're going to choose the state machine. Okay. So we've got the uh, the state machine uh, toolbox there. The next thing we're going to do is to create a package in the uh, project browser, and we're going to call it the state machine model. And that gives us a package to put all of our things in. We can rearrange the order of these. I'm going to put it underneath um, the use case model there. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a uh, a diagram and it's going to be a, um, a state machine diagram. So create diagram there and we end up with our diagram. So the the way that I model these uh, things, Tom, is that I, I usually start with an initial. I put that on uh, first and um, I also put a, a final um, element uh, on there as well. So are they, are they required for every state machine? Yeah, it's look, Formally, they should have every state machine should have a an initial pseudo state and a and a final state on the diagram. It might in fact have a number of different uh, different states, um, different end states. But um, it's good practice to put these on. keeps you kind of keeps you honest when you're doing uh, your work. And I'll just put um, I'll I'll just put uh, start here. And for the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, is to drop uh, a state on. And probably the most interesting state that I have on there is the uh, available uh, available state. So, you know, this is about the parking meter system, and what we're saying is that that um, that parking meter is available. So these are the, the states or the conditions that are uh, a particular uh, a, the, the parking meter particular part of the parking meter can be in. Now, the other one that we probably want is that that it's in session that we're, that we're, there's actually a, a session in there that we're um, that someone is actually made a payment on the parking meter and it's in session. So it wouldn't be available uh, for uh, anyone else uh, to be occupying that bay. Um, the other thing that happens, uh, you know, which can cause people problems is the uh, the expired state. So it's in session. We went away to a cafe and we got a bit more tied up than we expected. Uh, and now it's gone into this uh, expiry um, state. But um, another thing that can happen just to, to you know, to uh, round this off is that um, it can go into an out of service um, situation. So uh, I can drag this out here now using this quick linker and I can say transition to um, a state. And that's another way of uh, doing oh, right. the drawing. That's the first time I've seen that. Uh, yeah, that's that's called the quick linker. Uh, it's been in the tool for some time now. And, and yes, it's one of my most, uh, one of my favorite things uh, to use because it's, uh, it makes being able to draw the diagrams incredibly, uh, incredibly quick. I can just use it there again, and I can say that's a transition to that. Um, and again, quick linker there um, to the expiry one. Uh, and uh, I can then start filling out this diagram and saying, look, what other things happen? Well, as I said, you know, the in session uh, situation, you may be may have gone to a, uh, a cafe to have. Um, you know, some breakfast or something, and you think, golly, this this conversation is taking uh, longer. I need to um, need to extend um, extend the session. So I can put a uh, transition in from uh, the in session one there, and it's kind of like what I call a a, a retroflex one. It, it's going uh, from one state back to the same state. So, and I'm going to start labeling this one here. So I'm going to um, give this. Uh, transition a label and I'm going to call it extend um, session and there we have that um, and the other thing is when it's expired I might you know I get it's going to come back to um, uh, to being available again so theoretically someone else could uh, park there and I'm just going to use this uh, this little system here to put some waypoints in How'd and you do that? join them up so I'm just holding the control key down. If I hold the control key down and just click 
on the line anywhere, I can put um, a waypoint in and I can, you know, make that any shape that I want, um, you know. Uh, yeah, and that's um, that's a p powerful feature to just uh, align these things up. And notice they're gonna it's gonna snap into place for me. And let's call this one, you know, clear session. So um, that's the transition name there. Uh, so you know, some interesting uh, things uh, there. Um, the uh, the other thing um, that I kind of like to do with this is to use this uh, helper panel here called Show. Uh, directions and so what I can do with that is if I click on an element with that checkbox uh, check it's what it's doing is it's showing me the incoming uh, transitions in one color being red and the outgoing ones um, in green That's so quite yeah this is an interesting one Tom I mentioned this um, you know this uh, retroflex one if I if I look at this one um, it's got one incoming transition and one outgoing one but it's got this other one which is the retroflex one which is you know going back to itself again so um that's a really powerful feature uh we obviously can put some notes behind you know what available means what out of service uh means so we can put some you know notes into those um, which will help describe it um but it, it seems like a very simple diagram to most people looking on they may think this is quite trivial but it's incredibly powerful in many situations both business situations and technical situations. So I've seen uh, colleagues of mine solve very difficult communication timing uh, errors on you know, uh, systems using you know, a state machine to understand what state the, um, the, comm, the comms got into. And I've also seen people in the business world uh, modeling things. For example, the modeling of a, of a hotel room and the states that it can be in. So um, a, a novice modeler might say look the room was occupied and then it goes immediately goes back to being available but that's not that's not true because it needs to be um it needs to be made up first so there's a state that that exists between um being occupied and um being available where it, it, it it's um you know it's in a in a in a state um that it's um not available yet because it's um it needs to be cleaned so you know you can use them in, in both those circumstances so for, for example then let, let's just say we've got available and in session well, let's just say we want another state um say like receiving money is there any easy way of getting a state in between available and in session yeah okay tom that's a great question let's just um let's just drag this one down here and let's just do um something here just dragging um a state from the browser onto this line here and um, oh. Notice that Enterprise Architect performs a little bit of um, magic that, um, and again, a productivity tool, right? Um, available in session, um, let's go, let's call this one booked or something, make it a little bit uh, semantically uh, sensible, and we can just move these lines around then and, um, you know, uh, line this up. So that's a very powerful uh, feature. It was introduced in version 17, um, and it's part of the, the continual work that the, uh, the development team do and the product owners do to make the tool uh, incredibly usable and you know make you productive um, working rather than having to you know change lines, I can of course change lines um, you know by just you know dragging them as well. So I can do that. But uh, what we just showed then was a much more a much more powerful way uh, to do that. Absolutely, no, that's that's really good. Hmm. Um, the other thing, Tom, is that you know, like I said, this model isn't just a um, a trivial little model that you might do in a normal draw uh, drawing tool. Uh, it's got power behind it. And one of the things I can do is uh, I can simulate the model. Now, there are all sorts of different levels of simulation uh, in the tool, ranging from um, manual simulation through to very sophisticated um, sophisticated uh, simulation. So I'm just going to choose the manual one here for the moment. Um, but you'll notice that this thing um, is now simulating and I can go available to booked or available to out of service. Let's choose the available to booked one because as you can see, again, the green lines have come up while this is going on and you can see that there are two different there. And so I can um, do that and I've come to this one again. And again, I've got a number of different things. I'm gonna go for the expiry one and we can just keep uh, modeling now. Now we're back um, to available. Let's go to the out of service one there and um, the state machine simulation uh, ends because 
uh, the thing is out of service. So, so why would someone do that then? Um, so the reason why someone would do it, this is a relatively simple model that you can follow with uh, with your eyes, but um, in, a, in a situation where it's more complex, um, you're able to um, follow through the different pathways and also to, um, a, a, as a way of explaining to users, um, you know, what's going to what's going to go on. Um, so, okay. So uh, as like a, a validation method to make sure the, you know, the, the, the process makes sense and, and can get to the end and, and also to, to share with others about how the system should operate. Yeah, that's exactly right. And the, uh, you, you know, the, the other levels of simulation that I spoke of, they are going to be the subject of, uh, of a future video. See, just with that simple manual uh, simulation, how powerful uh, the tool is. And again, the take home message here is it's not just a drawing tool. Yes, you can use it as a drawing tool if you want to, but there's all this power and all this semantics and all this understanding and all these possibilities uh, underneath uh, these diagrams that make the tool incredibly rich. Uh, very good, very good. Well, thank you very much for that uh, today, Stephen. Very interesting stuff. Uh, look forward to our next session. Right, thanks you. Thanks, Tom.